Hey folks, Scooter Bateman, we're bringing you a trail camera review. If you want to win the trail camera in the video, all you got to do is give it a heart, thumbs up, laugh, angry face, I don't give a crap what you do, just do one of those things there at the bottom. The other thing you can do is send us your email. If you send us your email, you will be entered to win every camera until you win. If you send us your email and you like the video, what does that mean? It means you get two chances. Without further ado, let's get into the first one. Wild Game Innovations, Cloak Pro, sorry, I have to use uh, notes because I can't remember all these. I've got a bunch of them and uh, just gotta write notes. So, it's the Wild Game Innovations, Cloak Pro, 16 megapixels, 75 foot illumination range, three quarter of a second trigger speed, and sensor up to 60 feet. Now, this is what it says on the box. I don't know that it held up to those expectations. I definitely don't think that the uh, sensor was working out to 60 foot. However, for the price, $70 on Amazon, it was a very decent camera. Uh, let's get into some of the pros. It comes with eight AAA batteries that you need to get going. And I should mention this ahead of time. If you win this camera or any other camera that comes with batteries, unfortunately I cannot ship them with the batteries because I don't want something to happen and ruin the camera over a few AA or uh, C batteries, whatever it takes. That being said, it comes with the batteries. It does not come with an SD card. So you're halfway there whenever you buy this. It has hunt stand integration. I don't use hunt stand. I didn't check it to see if it worked well. If enough people use hunt stand and they want me to see if it pairs well with in future camera uh, reviews, I will. However, I use Onyx Maps and I haven't come across a trail camera that links in with Onyx Maps. Easy setup time. Uh, this, it was super easy, self-explanatory. You don't even need the instructions. Let's get into some of the cons. This is a huge one for me. You cannot format the SD card on the camera. You have to do it on your computer. It's absolutely ridiculous. Every camera should have the ability to format the SD card on the camera because not everybody wants to tow the laptop with them to camp or wherever they're going or they get there and they don't realize that it doesn't format. It's despicable and every camera should do SD card format on the camera. Uh, the video is 720p. 720p for the price of the camera, not bad. Uh, there's a lot of cameras out there that are the same price that only shooting 480. So it's it's good to go there. It's not quite 1080. Uh, and just for a frame of reference, this video was shot in 1080. Uh, another big one, no solar input that I could figure out on the camera. Uh, I don't like that. I like to be able to plug solar in and uh, let it run for long periods of time without having to worry about batteries. So there's a few things that I check on uh, cameras and one of them is how many pics of nothing did I get? And it's really average. If, when the wind was high, I did get pics of nothing, but on relatively calm days, I didn't get any pics of nothing. Uh, no, no crazy amount, uh, like some of the cheaper cameras out there that I'll review. And, but it had more than some of the more expensive cameras out there that I'll review, so. Uh, who's the camera for? I think this camera is great for uh, somebody who wants a decent camera and realizes the expectations that it could be stolen, like a public land hunter. I think it's a really good choice for that. It's not going to be excruciating if somebody steals it, but it's gonna give you decent pictures throughout the season. Uh, the other person that I think that could use this camera would just be uh, somebody who doesn't have any and they're looking to get started. They're not super serious about trail cameras and uh, they don't care as much about the quality of the picture as they do just knowing what's on the property. So with all that being said, 
If you're looking for a middle of the road camera, I think this is a great one. Trust me, I am reviewing some that are bull crap and I will tell you if they're a piece of crap. So I would give this a middle thumb. It's okay. So see y'all at the next one. Adios. Remember, like the video. I hope you win. You, watching this, win the camera. I'll send it to you. Doesn't cost you anything. Except a thumbs up. See ya. Adios.